So what is interest rate risk in the banking book all about? Well, actually three things. On one hand side, you have a strengthened on policies and governance, uh, which is important at other risks too, but now strengthened on the interest rate risk part of, of the whole risk picture. Secondly, it's about calculations and behavior. So it's on the one hand side having some key figures and on the other side, it is based on regulatory pressure in measuring basis risk, gap risk, how to measure core deposits, uh, what kind of behaviors your customers will have in taking that back. That's about the regulatory pressure within RBB. But on top of that, you have the market conditions market conditions where we have a very low interest rate, sometimes even negative uh, in a current environment. So we're of course managing that. But on the other hand, we have an expectation that interest would rise because of the fact that we have a more better economy. And that also means that of course you as a bank, you want to manage it much more firmly. And the last but not least is about disclosures, disclosures of those two measures, eh? net interest income, NII, and EVE, economic value of equity, more on the long term, while NII is on the short term, to be managed as part of the disclosures in different scenarios. One will have to do six scenarios, the other ones two.